perform hydrogening today. It's used in high pressure water to clear the blockage through the line. It gets through any type of tree roots or any type of hard blockages that the snake can't get through. After it's cleaned, we're going to insert the camera to check the condition of the pipe. So what's happening right now is that the customer has an original cast iron sewer line which has a lot of scale inside the line. Scale accumulates from the interior of the cast iron due to the age, the condition of the pipe. It's pretty much metal rusted flakes that come off the interior of the pipe and that's where paper product gets caught and doesn't allow it to properly flow down the line. So what we're going to end up recommending is called a descaling process which allows us to thoroughly descale the line removing all the scale, bringing it back to its original shape, at which point we would then flush it out using high pressure water. At that time, we can then check the condition of the pipe after we remove the scale to see if there's any additional issues. So right now, I'm trying to identify and locate the pipe. There's a section inside the sewer line that I'm not able to get past. So what I'm doing right now is locating the pipe. There's a transmitter at the end of the camera head, which then tells me exactly where the camera is and how deep it is underground. So we located the pipe right in this area. It is approximate five and a half to six feet deep. At this time, we're gonna to try to hydrojet the line to get past this area and then re-camera inspect to see if we're able to get past this point. So at this time, we determined that the customer does have a broken section of pipe that we're able to locate it about 100 feet out. The customer has a very long sewer line that's probably at approximate 100 50 to 200 feet long. Um, at about 100 feet, we can't go any further. So at this time, we're gonna perform an exploratory dig. What that includes is excavating about three and a half feet deep to get down to the bottom of the sewer, at which point we'll cut out a section of the pipe to perform a thorough cleaning. Once the cleaning is completed, we then re-camera the line to check the rest of the condition of the pipe going downstream to the connection of the sewer main. If the rest of the pipe is in good condition, we then end up backfilling, installing a cleanout, which is a service cleanout for the future, and then backfill. 